Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing some tank RB with the Soviet 3.3 to 3.7 lineup. That includes the T-34, 1941, T-34, L-11, KV-1, L-11, PE-3, or P-2-3, and the IL-2 M Type 3 that I used in the last video. So first up, we're taking out the T-34, 1941, me and this KV-1 are going over here. I was going to go down below, but instead decided to turn over this way. I know that if I go up on this ridge, that there will probably be tanks sitting there waiting to shoot people who go to A. Um, and so that's basically what I was trying to negate uh, them from doing by basically camping bush and waiting. Just getting my range set up because always got to have your range. Otherwise, it can be a pain in the ass when you're trying to shoot someone. That was a ricochet off of a stug. Fire again. I redded his barrel. I'm not really sure to pen this thing at 600 meters. Other people are shooting at him now. Oh, he hid behind the wall, rock. Okay, well, that makes sense. Oh, check 38T. Boom, dead. Right to the belly. Nothing he could do. Someone just popped smoke, apparently. That's kind of not useful. Is he coming out? Fire non-penetration. Oh. I, I suck that one right up. Let's check out the KV-1. That thing should be able to bounce a stug shot at about 600 meters and farther. So, hopefully uh, this works a little better. Then, where do I go? Gotta turn around here. Like how it spawns you in facing the wrong way. Gotta go that way. There we go. I'm marking out that dude. Hopefully they get the memo. Uh, looks like we're having a little bit of trouble over at C. Not many people spawned over at C to start, so... But that's kind of how it always goes. A lot of the players who play this map end up going straight for A and A only. If we split up and then end up taking out, like, B, once we got A and C secured, that could make the game go a little better, but... What not, let's uh, get back over to our spot. Got a Swedish boy sitting over there as well. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Yes, there's a Stug and a Panzer IV over there. Ooh, got a critical hit. Oh, got a hit. Took out his transmission. Oh, Cromwell. Get out of the way. Oh, well, that's one way to deal with him. He just got killed. Need to get that Stug's gun out of commission. But there's a Panzer IV over there, and I hope, yep, it's an F2. Or is that an F2? I don't really know. It looks like an F2. Non penetration. That's kind of ridiculous. Look at the amount of track on there. Jesus. Nope. That almost hit the driver's port. Come on. A little bit up. Mm, took out his breach and the commander. Let's go back to the stug. Fire. Uh, his breach soaked that up. Didn't even damage the breach, though, unfortunately. Get that panzer for his nose. I'm here. Okay, took out the cupola. Commander's already dead, so it didn't really do much. Oh, he took a strong hit. Fire, nope. How did that not even knock the gun out? Damn. Fire? Oh, got him right through the side. Perfect. So glad that guy turned. Where do I shoot the stug? Oh, M24 moving through. 
Probably the Japanese one. Surprised that none of my shots have penetrated yet. Nope, it's too short. Fire. Nope, ricochet off the gun mantlet again. Huh. Fire. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. At least you've got more people shooting at this guy. There's like, I've kind of like four different shots going at him, and we're still having trouble killing this dude. Fire. Nope. Hmm. Let's try farther over and down. Reload. Fire. Yes, there we go. Right through the driver. Perfect. Finally, about damn time that kind of sucked. Let's move forward. Or fall forward, I should say. A's already capped, so it's good that they didn't push that. Oh, Puma tried to take it, though. He's dead to the right there. Hopefully no one's up there. Keep moving. It's Japanese, 724. Chaffee. Nothing, let's keep going. Not sure why that guy's stopping, but okay, let's keep moving. Okay, let's uh try to figure this out, I guess. Just go up this hill and we'll push in, I guess, towards their spawn on the top there, I guess. Probably get pretty damn close and end up setting off the spawn alert. Hope no one's up here. That would suck if I just crested the hill and just got blasted back to oblivion. Nope, looks clear. Clear. Around this corner, quick. A dead T34 over there. Check left. Anyone over here? Nope. Clear. T34 has me worried. I don't know if he was from the beginning of the game or not. Like just bum rushed in and got blasted, or what? Hopefully nothing's over here. Let's keep moving. Push this hill. Oh, it's a warble wind. Oh, it just only got a hit. Killed everyone in the turret though. Just fire with him at the machine gun. Oh, he dead. No, no one over there. Oh, someone just, oh, someone's shooting at me. Pack. Oh, it's an LVT. Oh, well, yeah. That's why you don't bring one of those to 3.3. I guess. Sucks to be him. Oh, that's a stug. Oof. Okay, let's just push him. Hopefully he doesn't. <laughs> He's a little spooked. Oop, just knocked my barrel. Come on. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. She's coming to daddy. Oh, well, okay. I, I, I just took that straight to the face. Uh, okay. B2, I guess. Two 500s. Yep. So this is the PE2. This is basically... Uh, it's a medium bomber, and, uh, that Stug 3 that just killed me, well, he's gonna be the first recipient of his Christmas care package, uh, courtesy of Stalin's, uh, tax dollars that paid for these, uh, yeah, free delivery via me. It's only armed with, uh, 7.62 in the tail, 
turret there, 7.62 down below, and the two 7.62s you just saw me fire off like 30 seconds ago on the nose. So lacking in the frontal and rearward fire department, but for a 3.7 with two 500 kilogram bombs, uh, it should be of no issue. And there he is. And first bomb's gone. Yep. Thank you. That's my kill. Come again. Hope you enjoyed. Let's look for somebody else. A lot of tanks burning on the ground. Oh. Looks to be someone over there camping our spawn. That might be one reason we're not able to uh, spawn in. Okay, drop the bombs. Whoop. Uh oh. Oof. Maybe I should have been looking where I was going. Yeah, whatever. Two kills, two bombs, not bad. Let's take out T-34, 1940, with the L-11. I'm gonna go bum rush to see, I guess. So I'm sitting in third place currently, which is pretty good. No one's above me. I haven't actually been playing ground forces recently. Uh, I've been mainly flying, whether that's the little tiny bit on War Thunder I've been flying recently, or IL-2 or Rise of Flight. Those, are, those two are the big ones, but and I'll be posting more videos on those. Okay, what is he shooting at? Also, while I drive, I'd just like to mention, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Leave a like. Uh, subscribe helps. Comment on videos or ideas that you want to see. I'm open to anything. And, uh, yeah, let's continue with the game now and finish this up. Uh, all these are dead. Is that it? What is that? No, it's KV-1. Oh, there's a Werble Wind. He's still alive. Wait, that's an Ostvin. That's not a Werble Wind. Uh-oh. Oh, yep, he did. And his turret just flew off. And we won. Third place for the team. So, we got the Heavy Metal Hero... Final blow, one shot, rank does not matter, professional X2, uh, eye for an eye to X2, Avenger, tank rescuer, a lot of other awards. Yes, so third place for the team. First place only got one kill, but a bunch of assists, so he was pretty helpful, but not the normal way. I got more kills than he did, but whatever. Not salty, that was a great game. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this Ground Forces edition of War Thunder. Um, I enjoyed making it. It was a fun game. Yeah. Without further ado, leave a like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, Red's out.